Welcome back to McAwee Outdoors. It is a cold, rainy day here in Missouri. Uh, it's March 9th, 23, and we're over here at Cabela's. Uh, they're starting their spring fishing classic today. So stick around, because today we're going shopping. all the kayaks that they're offering right now uh, some of them are on sale some of them are not uh, the t12 is one we're looking at um, this one right here is the best buy they have going right now and here it is it's the fs110 it's 350 dollars and there's a 50 dollar gift card on this set of kayak so I might be looking at that from the wife, you know, or the son, but uh, here's the paddles. And their selection of kayak stuff is pretty limited. Um, they do have a few things here and there, um, but not a real big, huge selection to speak of for kayak stuff, so... Um, probably be buying a lot of stuff online well this is it it's a 12 t 12 foot kayak this is the one we're going to be looking at buying it's 5.99 right now on sale and there is a hundred dollar gift card i believe with it so we're going to get it purchased and get it loaded up uh, i got quite a few here so all right this is the one we've settled on kind of like the color scheme on it it is one big kayak um, let's see if it fits in the truck <laughs> might not fit in the truck well here's our kayak we got it loaded up uh, we checked it over really good this one came from inside the store um, it has not been sitting outside as you can tell by the box and the foot pegs I've kind of looked everything over really good inside the store so i would caution uh, caution you if you buy one that's been sitting out over here over here at cabela's there's been quite a few sitting outside for quite a while and as you can tell earlier there's some parts already broken and stuff from just the sun beating on them but we're going to start our trip home get this thing home and hopefully get it in the water here for too long so stick around just got back from Cabela's. Um, we don't have any buyer remorse yet on the kayak. Uh, when we went to the register, we bought the kayak first. It was roughly uh, $600. Uh, at that time, they gave us a gift card for $100, which then we had them ring these up separate, and it gave us the paddles and a life jacket for free. Both of these are on sale. We went with the 250 centimeter paddles uh, due to my height and the width of the kayak. And then we also picked up this Coast Guard approved life jacket. It is not the one they recommend for kayaking or supposedly a kayak jacket, but that one fit a little tight, um, probably due to my middle here but um, this jacket felt really good and that's going to be really important 
uh, with a kayak. Uh, we're hoping tomorrow, if we get this kind of put together and get the stickers and stuff off, if the weather's decent, we're going to try to go up to a small lake and try this out. Um, weather tomorrow is supposed to be about 40 degrees. Uh, water temp's probably going to be upper 30s, I would think. So you definitely don't want to fall in. But we're going to try it tomorrow. So stick around. Finally, some decent weather here in Missouri. I uh, bought this kayak uh, a couple days ago. And the weather just hasn't cooperated with us to get it on the water. So today we're going to try it. It's pretty chilly today. It's about 32 degrees. We do have a slight breeze coming out of the southeast. And we're up here at Hamilton City Lake. Um, it's a little bitty lake uh, just west of Hamilton on 36. I've never been on this lake, but we thought we'd bring the kayak up today and try it out. And hopefully I won't fall in because I imagine the water's gonna be really cold. Um, a couple accessories that we bought over the weekend is we picked up some stuff from Yak Attack. Uh, we got a GT cleat, uh, picked up their articulating camera mount, and actually their Omega Pro Universal fishing rod holder. Um, another big accessory I would advise is a dolly system. This one actually is the Ascend dolly system from that you get at Bass Pro. And I can tell you this kayak, even at 80 pounds, being 12 foot long, it seems pretty heavy and it's very awkward to try to move. Um, the dolly system has really helped just kind of move her maneuvering the kayak around. So we're going to put these accessories on. We're going to get the GoPros mounted, um, get them waterproofed, and then get on the water. We brought a fishing rod so we can kind of check out casting off this kayak and see if we actually like it. So stick around. We're getting ready to put it in the water. Well, we got it in the water without too many problems. The dolly did come in handy. Uh, it's just kind of sitting here on the ramp. We got the plugs in. We got the drain plug in. And I think we're kind of ready. Got a couple GoPro batteries. And... We made it back to the shore. I did not fall in, thank goodness, because it is really cold out there. Um, I did get a little wet from the splash uh, from the paddles, but all in all, 
I'm really happy with the kayak, uh, especially for $5.99. I think it's a pretty good buy, um, especially when they add another $100 gift card with it. Uh, so you get your paddle and your life jacket for free. The biggest thing I can say, being a first time owner of one, is get it out on the water and use it. Um, learn how to paddle, learn how the kayak's gonna track, and if you need to slow down or stop, uh, know how your kayak's gonna respond to that and how it's gonna track. Um, I think that will help me a lot more as I keep using this kayak. Um, as for fishability, um, as I was up around the docks, um, just kind of casting around the docks with my jig, I was having a hard time just kind of staying in one spot, even though there's a slight breeze today. There's no anchor. Um, I don't have one yet, but uh, that's one of the first accessories um, I would recommend anybody to get is a anchor trolley system and a drop of anchor of some type. Um, so you can hold in one spot and fish. Um, just a slight breeze today did not take much to push me off uh, the spot that I wanted to stay on. So those are some accessories that we're going to be putting on this kayak pretty quick. Um, we're also going to be getting some kind of milk crate or yak gear crate or something to put right there. Um, we're also going to put probably a track here and some kind of a track there or just some mounting blocks. Um, that's where we're going to put our, I think, our anchor cleats on and a few other accessories that we're going to put to this kayak so um, do me a favor hit the like button leave a comment down below if you would um, I'll answer them as soon as I get to it uh, subscribe to my channel if you like what you see we do have some more videos coming out uh, here on the kayak and on the two tracker boats that we own but um, as for today uh, get out on the water and go fishing